Hello fellow Scratchers, welcome to another exciting Game Jam Result video where our Griff Patch Academy students get to show off all their scratching skills. This month the theme was Journey into the Unknown. So let's jump in and check out the games by genre, beginning with the arcade entries, and our rising challengers, those who haven't won a Game Jam before. Here we go! Scratch vs Bots by JP Caldas Pro. With a fun introductory animation, I was pleased to see our swordplay tutorial enhanced with multiple enemy types, collectible diamonds, and other cool visual effects. The Unknown Colour by Advanced Coding SFC. I very much enjoy this unique puzzle game. You can't move to a square of your own colour, and when you do move, your player takes on the opposite colour to the square you land on. The puzzles spice up as you progress, and the game really draws you in. A Small Step for an Ant and a Giant Leap for the Colony 2 by the KDF Collab. In version 2 of this fab game, we now get to further expand our already excellent tech tree, and attempt to journey all the way to the moon! Now I just want to see more exciting visuals as we journey deeper into space. And now we must pick a winner. And after much deliberation, even though scoring a little less for originality due to Reeves' admission, the Rising Challenger Award goes to the KDF Collab with a small step for an ant. Such a lot of work went into this project, and it deserves its winning place. Well done. But we are not done yet, because now we got to see the entries by our seasoned returning champions. The Shrouded Tower by Robodog81. Wow, standing out straight away because of its awesome fogging effects. Also, the game is unique in that although we can hear and take damage from enemies as we ascend this tower, we cannot see them. Not until we cast a reveal spell. Such a fun gameplay mechanic. The Temple of Unknown by Team Nautilus. From a tower to a well, this team effort shines for its fun graphics, clean gameplay, and plethora of enemy types and attack formations. Yes, you're always kept on your heels. And Dead Letter Drop by Catweasel1972. Bonus points for a completely unique concept. Pogo your way across each level, delivering letters, avoiding birds, and navigating a dangerous, ever-changing landscape. I love that pogoing effect. But who will be our returning champion? The award goes to... Robodog81 with the Shrouded Tower! Not only does it look great, but it just smashed it on the theme, Journey into the Unknown. So congratulations to you! Okay, our next game category is Adventure Games. Let's dive in. How Scratch Cat Met Nano by Emetums. Ah, just a simple adventure platformer with a very fun story. Jacob's Adventure by Jacob Lottel 2014 On the other hand, this is a top-down adventure with a promising fighting system that culminates in a very hard boss fight. Redling 2 by Max Mastercoder. Yes, our beloved Redling returns in a classic platformer style, but they did a great job adding NPC interactions and quests, plus some very well-constructed boss fights along the way. And Dark Hollow Lane by Tankra 2015-0127. An escape room style adventure, and oh wow, I love the 3D-like level effect, and the large spooky enemy in the centre, especially how the sounds are localised around them. It's scary! There's so much potential in this game. Right, four potential rising challengers. Who takes the crown? It's... Max Master Coder with Redling 2. The whole game was rock solid, and the integration of the platformer, text engine, RPG elements, and well thought out boss fights really made this special. So, great job indeed. Animations are up next, and we never fail to have a great selection. Let's see what we've got A Journey into the Unknown by Joshua Hugh. This animation is just so delightful. All the way through, I was prepared for something bad to happen. But no, everything is good. And they all end up with a diamond. Awesome! To the Moon by S209432. Well, well, a splendidly unique style of animation, following the life of a single person from birth to space, using immersive scrolling slideshows and pixel art. And then the music and sounds really add to the emotion. Journey to Find the Dragon by Justavukbur. Now, what was I saying earlier about expecting something bad to happen? Well, Justavukbur doesn't disappoint. 
in this fun little skit to find the dragon. And just when you think it's over, well, it is now. The beginning scratch by Green Viper. And seriously, how can anyone dislike this one? Look how cute the cat looks sitting at the computer. They might be having technical problems in their coding, but that's nothing the Griffpatch Academy cannot fix. But sorry, I can't let that bias me. <laughs> yes, we have four entries, all with their own merits, but our Rising Challenger Award goes to... S209432 with To The Moon! It must have taken forever to draw all that pixel art, and to make it so emotive. I love how it portrays life itself as a true journey into the unknown. Congratulations! And on we go to the Dodging Games, a popular genre for Journey into the Unknown, and the scores were so close that we'll keep the Rising Challengers and Returning Champions all together in one large group. So, Freefall Unknown by Scratchmaker Meow. If you recognise the art style, that's because it's remixed from a previous King Midas project. However, the game and the gameplay is all new. It's got fantastic polish both in the UI and the game, and the levels are beautifully handcrafted, so no random unavoidable death here. There's also multiple player modes to keep things fresh. It's one of those games that demands to be mastered. Into the Unknown Depths by Minecrafter1000. This time we are dodging fish as we sink into the depths of the sea. With clever use of buoys to create swarms of fish, and the reduced lighting as we plunge deeper is great. Although I do wish we could see more of those swarming fish still at this point. Night's Journey by Ninja Code. This game was inspired by Zombie Cube. And it's dead hard and dead addicting. To beat later levels, you really have to memorise where the enemies are and then just dash through the level, evading instant death by a cat's whisker. It's challenging and very fun. Space Adventure by Sonic Sizzle. This game opens up with a simply beautiful title menu. Wow. And then we plunge into an asteroid dodging rocket ship journey into the unknown. I like the power-ups, and the unique fact that blowing up asteroids too close to the player is also very bad for your health. Now for something completely different. Walking in the Air by Seriously Scratchy One. I remember the Christmas when the snowman animation was first broadcast on television. What a masterpiece, and now we can play the game. A great idea for a journey into the unknown. And lastly, A Little Worm's Big Adventure by Owlgirl2016. What at first appears to be a magically beautifully narrated animation, transitions into a full-on dodging game. Such an imagination. I just love the voice acting and this flying worm's adventure. So, a real selection there. A mix of returning champions and rising challengers. However, the winning project, the one with the most points, beating all the returning champions, is Freefall Unknown by Scratchmaker Meow for their wonderfully designed levels and gameplay. A super strong first time win for you. Congratulations! And that brings us, can you believe it, to the last game genre, platformer games. And again, the scores were really tight, so in no particular order, Corebound by Team Smiling Bats. From the word go, this is beautiful. This collab really know how to polish their pixels. It's a wonderful adaption of the scrolling tile platformer, where you play a fallen apple trying to return to your tree. I love the idea, it's so fun. The way items trigger changes in the level is really cool. It's just a short game, but it does what it does very well. Echo by CSL Finley. Man, you guys are getting good at these menus. So swish. And then the game. It's really clever. You have to use your special echo location to map out the level, since it's otherwise completely dark. This fades out over time, but I love how it scrolls around perfectly with the player and the level, and it forces you to really search around for each ledge and drop. And then to top it off, there's all sorts of other things going on with this game that you have to discover as you play. BFDIYA7B by Pac-Man598. Now I love how this puzzle platformer develops as you play. You gain more unique player characters as you go, each one with their own properties, and you have to switch between them to beat each level and get them all safely to the exit. Purple's Second Adventure by Luminara shows us another take on the dark platformer. This time the only illumination is given by the mouse cursor, and it's not very much light at all. 
This makes it a real challenge to play, as you really have to search and memorise more of the surroundings. I very much enjoyed playing, however, if you die, you have to start all over again, so don't make a mistake. Into the Abyss by Wintermelon Boss With witty dialogue, multiple special powers like being able to fly, or create shield or vortex, this game is full of surprises. Initially you just have to try and navigate the tricky levels, but eventually you'll hit the boss and although it doesn't play fast, it sure is no ride in the park. This is hard work, and it had me beat, but then I couldn't remember all of the power-up keys. And now the last entry, The Cavern's Whisper by 7 Pirate 7 this last entry in the jam employs a really simple but gorgeous looking lighting effect to make the level visible, this time linked directly to our cat player. This makes exploring a lot safer and lets us appreciate the lovely cave artwork. The goal is to locate your missing kittens, and it's so worth it just so you can watch them following along in your wake. A really awesome effect. I love it! So gosh, these were all amazing! How do you make it so hard for me to judge? But of course only one can take the top spot, and that is, by a single point only, our new rising challenger CSL Finley with Echo. They really hit the theme on the nose, but also scored high for originality both technically and in story, so congratulations to you. And to everyone who entered because all these projects have been simply amazing. And that wraps up all our Game Jam awards. A huge thank you to everyone who took part, returning champions, rising challengers and anyone jumping into the Game Jam for the very first time. These jams are a great way to put into practice what we've learned in the Griffpatch Academy and push ourselves to become better coders and game creators. Indeed, if you love building games like these and want to take your skills even further, you can join me inside the Griffpatch Academy, my online learning community where I teach you step by step how to make full games, level up your scratch skills and learn alongside thousands of other young creators. There's a link below if you want to find out more about us. But that's it for today, so until next time, have a great week ahead and scratch on guys.